You are still here? Yeah, we thought we'd hang out, catch some rays. This isn't a game. Hey everyone, since it's been well over a month at this point since my last video, I figured I'd give you a quick update on where some things are at, and then also share some quick thoughts on a few recent announcements that caught my eye. So in my last video where I talked about Fallout Season 1, I mentioned that I was working on a video for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and also a video on the Jack and Daxter series, and that I was working on them both concurrently. I had just finished Jack 3 and was getting ready to play through The Lost Frontier for the first time, so that video was likely going to be first. My Final Fantasy 7 video is a project that's a little bit bigger in scope, as I'm not reviewing it in the traditional sense, instead I'm going to be examining the open world game design in comparison to Final Fantasy 15, which will require me to play through a good chunk of that game again. However, both of these projects I decided to put on hold after Microsoft announced the closure of Tango Gameworks, the developers of the Evil Within series. I was planning a video on the Evil Within for October to celebrate the 10th anniversary, but following the abrupt news I decided to do it now instead. And it's taking a bit longer than anticipated, story of my life. I hadn't played the Evil Within 2 in quite a while and had forgotten just how long it was. With a bit of luck, it should be out this week, but I'm also going to a con this weekend, so who knows. Once that's out, I'll dive back into the other two videos I was working on, and I shouldn't imagine the Jack and Dexter video will take too long. But yeah, that's where things are at right now. So thanks for hanging in there, guys. Now get out! I need my beauty nap. Trust me, brother. There aren't enough hours in the day. Now onto some recent game announcements. To be honest, almost nothing about the Summer Games Festival caught my eye, apart from this one clip of Sam Lake dancing. The Xbox Showcase, on the other hand, had a lot more interesting stuff to show off in my opinion. The first thing I saw was the trailer for Doom The Dark Ages, and overall it looks pretty cool. The visuals are astounding, the music is heavy, and the combat looks great, as to be expected from an id software game. However, I can't help but feel like this could've, and probably should've been, a reboot for the Quake series. I mean, the original Quake had a pretty strong gothic and medieval aesthetic to it, just like this new Doom game does. And don't get me wrong, I love Doom, and I'll always be excited for a new Doom game. But yeah, I can't help but feel like this was a missed opportunity for Quake. Hell, I'd even take a Heretic reboot. Perhaps this was originally meant to be a Quake game, but the Microsoft Overlord stepped in and then made them shift into a Doom game? Who knows? Next, there was another trailer for the upcoming Indiana Jones game. And while it definitely looks like it's shaking up to be a cool game, the decision for it to be a first-person shooter feels odd, given how cutscene heavy the game looks to be. Sure, they're probably doing that to lessen the inevitable comparisons to Uncharted, but I feel like an Indiana Jones game just makes sense to be a third-person shooter. I'm also very worried about the future of machine games being tied to the success of this game. Given the way Microsoft just seems to be closing studios at the drop of a hat lately, which is probably why I'm going to buy this game on PC, even though I probably won't be able to run it. Or maybe it's time I bite the bullet and also get myself an Xbox Series X, because I'm very excited about the new Fable game. Not too much of the gameplay was shown in the new trailer, but I'm digging the vibe, and Fable is just one of those games I've always loved. It's still a crime against humanity that we never got a PC version of Fable 2. Also, the main character of the game looks fine. There, I said it. He's out of line, but he's right. We also finally got a proper look at the Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater remake, and that's also looking like it's shaping up to be pretty good. From what I can tell, it seems to be a remaster style remake, which honestly is probably for the best given how fine-tuned Kojima was with all the little details that made the PS2 original so great. The only thing I think the remake needs is some updated controls to be a bit more in line with Metal Gear Solid 5, but that's about it. Also very cool to hear David Hayter as Snake again, even though I'm one of probably about five people who actually really like to keep a Sullivan's portrayal. Is that the guy that voices, um, commencing virtuous mission now? Sounds like the guy that voices Geralt in The Witcher 3. <laughs> Probably the biggest surprise announcement for me was Life is Strange Double Exposure. 
a new Life is Strange game wasn't the surprise. The fact that they've brought back the original protagonist Max Caulfield was something I was not expecting, and it is pretty cool to see her again in a new game. Part of me has been thinking it was kind of inevitable that at some point they would bring her back, because even though the franchise has continued without her, it doesn't feel like any game since has had the same kind of love the original game did. It'll be interesting to see where the story goes, as it seems to be following on from the ending where Chloe dies in the original game. Which I'm actually happy about, since there's already a comic book series that explores the Chloe Lives ending. It's possible Chloe might still make an appearance here in the new game, given that Max is now jumping between timelines. I just hope that if Chloe does appear, it's to advance the story and not just obnoxious fan service. Uh, hello? <laughs> Who says that? With that said, however, I am keeping my expectations very much in check since this game is being developed by Deck Nine Games instead of the original creators Don't Nod. The two Life is Strange games that Deck Nine have made were incredibly underwhelming to me, with True Colors honestly just being an incredibly boring experience. So consider me very cautiously optimistic, but I can't deny that I'm very happy to see Max again. And what's that? Pre-order the Ultimate Edition to receive a Final Fantasy VII Outfit Pack. You have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. The last game I'm going to mention is the upcoming Silent Hill 2 remake, slated for release this October. I did a video a few years ago when it was announced, and I wasn't exactly all that excited by what I saw, and to be honest, my feelings really haven't changed. Okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> some good names here, and then, ah. I'm still not convinced at all that Bloober Team was the right choice to remake such an iconic and beloved horror game. It looks like it's going to be a gorgeous PlayStation 5 tech demo, but there's just things that bother me that make me feel like they've missed the point in many ways. Like Maria's more conservative outfit to me just screams of misunderstanding her character and purpose. And it's even more wild that the upcoming film adaptation of Silent Hill 2 got her appearance right and seems to understand the significance of it. As for the whole Angela thing that was happening on Twitter, my take is that I don't like how they've actually made her look like a teenager in the remake. I know that she is in fact 19, but I always felt that her looking older in the original was intentional and that it was meant to reflect how the abuse she had endured had literally aged her, but that's just my interpretation. I know that I also had a lot of reservations against the Resident Evil 4 remake, and that ended up being one of my favourite games last year, but I feel that there was more leeway with Resident Evil 4 in retrospect to do things a bit differently. With Silent Hill 2, I don't think that's the case, as everything about that game felt so specific. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess, but at this point, I can't see myself rushing out to buy the Silent Hill 2 remake on day one. Okay. Ah! <laughs> but anyway, those are all the games I wanted to share some quick thoughts about. Hope you're all doing well. My Evil Within video should be out soon, so keep an eye out for that, and I will see you all soon with more videos. Bye!